We're here at CES 2026 to check out all the latest Monster news. Today we're at ASUS's booth where there's loads of new monitors on display. So let's go and check all of them out right now. This is the most exciting monitor, I think, at CES this year from ASUS. It's their new 27-inch WLED monitor with a true RGB stripe subpixel layout. That's the first time that LG Display have produced a WLED panel with an RGB layout, doing away with the white subpixel that was previously used to boost brightness. So that will help improve text clarity and improve sharpness across all applications. It's still referred to as a tandem WLED panel, one of their fourth gen panels, because the W in WLED actually relates to the type of light that the OLED stack generates. In this case, it's generating white light instead of something like QD OLED that generates blue light. So it's still a WLED panel, despite them doing away with that white subpixel. It's 27 inches in size, it's got a 4K resolution, 240 hertz refresh rate, and support for dual mode function that allows you to double that up to 480 hertz if you drop down to a 1080p resolution. The sample on display here at CES features a matte anti-glare coating that you might be able to tell from this video. So we're told that the final production unit, when it goes into mass production, will include ASUS's true black glossy finish. So this screen will have a glossy coating instead of a matte anti-glare coating, giving you a really super sharp picture with that 4K resolution and that RGB stripe there. ASUS also told us that from a brightness point of view, it will have a lower brightness spec than some of their other recent WLED monitors. It will have a 1000 nits peak brightness for HDR, 300 nits for SDR and full screen white. It's got Dolby Vision support, HDR10 support, Doing away with the white subpixel also allows them to increase the color volume so you get full color saturation even at peak brightness in HDR. So they talk about a 27% color volume increase compared with previous WLED panels. It's got all of their latest features like DisplayPort 2.1 connectivity with UHDR 20 speeds, their Neo proximity sensor for OLED care, loads of other extra features. This one's going to be launched in Q2 this year. Keep an eye on our website for more news on pricing, availability, and hopefully a review at some point soon this year once a unit becomes available for us to test. You can see it's also got a new design. It's a lot like the PG27AQWPW, their 540 hertz model that we saw at Gamescom. Rather than being a white and silver designer, this has got a black rear enclosure. It's got a transparent section here, all the usual RGB lighting and stuff, of course but it's basically a black version of that silver model that we've already seen and tested in detail. Looks really smart, and I think combined with the true black glossy coat, I mean, that's gonna be a really attractive screen when it's released. This is their brand new 34 inch ultra wide QD OLED monitor as well. It's got a new fifth gen QD OLED panel. So that's got a 3440 by 1440 resolution, 360 hertz refresh rate. So a decent upgrade from some of the previous 34 inch ultra wides that we've seen before. But what is most exciting about this panel is that it's got, for the first time on any QDLA panel, a true RGB stripe subpixel layer. So that will really help improve text clarity and reduce fringing, a problem that's plagued previous OLED monitors because of their abnormal subpixel layer. As well as the RGB stripe layout, it's got a new Black Shield film coating. Now that does two things. It increases the panel hardness from 2H to 3H, which apparently helps improve the scratch resistance by two and a half times. It also helps improve the black depth in the presence of ambient lighting. So we're in a pretty bright room here right now, but it will help reduce the purple tinting that you sometimes get on QD OLED panels and improve black depth even in bright room conditions. Now that's something that ASUS are calling Black Shield Film. It's featured on this 34 inch model. It's also featured on a couple of their other 32 inch QD OLED monitors that we'll look at in a moment. As well as that new QD OLED panel, this model has DP 2.1 connectivity with full UHBR 20 speeds. It's got their Neo proximity sensor built into the bottom of the screen that will turn the screen off when you're not using it and then turn it back on when you return. So it's got all of their latest OLED care features, including that Neo proximity sensor. We've actually already reviewed this screen in full. So if you want to know loads more about it, all of the testing, how the new panel performs, how that new Black Shield film performs, do check out our full review. That will be linked in the description below. It's available now. We're told by ASUS that this model will be released in Q1 sometime, but we don't have a price yet. We'll update this on our website in the future as soon as we know a lot more information. This is their new 32-inch QDOLED monitor as well. It's the PG32UCDM3. 
It's the third generation of this screen, the original PG32 UCDM. You've got the original right next to the updated version 3 model. Now it's still using a 32 inch QD OLED panel, 4K resolution, 240 hertz refresh rate. But this one has been updated to use a brand new fourth gen QD OLED panel. So it's using their new EL3.0 material, which offers improved brightness for HDR and SDR, improved longevity. But it also features what ASUS are calling their Black Shield film. We talked about that a little bit earlier on their 34-inch model. That Black Shield film helps improve the black depth in, you know, this is quite bright lighting here at CES. You can see that on this model, the old model, it starts to go a bit more purple in color in the presence of ambient lighting. And on this model, the blacks are better. They're deeper blacks and the purple tint is removed. So that's a good side-by-side -side demo of what that looks like. Um, but the Black Shield film is designed to improve black depth as well as improve the panel hardness. So that's been updated from 2H to 3H, giving two and a half times better scratch resistance as well. A lot of the other specs remain the same as the original model, although this does have DisplayPort 2.1 connectivity, UHBR 20 speeds. It's got their latest OLED care features, Neo proximity sensor. It's got a higher power delivery from the USB-C port. So they've updated the connectivity as well as the underlying panel. This model is going to be released in Q1. We've actually already featured a full review of this on our main website. So if you want to know loads more about how it performs, all of the differences compared with the original version, and in fact, the Gen 2 model that came out last year, do check out that full review. We'll link that in the description below and you can check that out for loads more. For all of you out there who've been eagerly anticipating the arrival of G-Sync Pulsar, ASUS have got on display their new 27-inch ROG Strix model here. We're told actually these are going to be finally released this week, uh, so look out for availability in the very near future on G-Sync Pulsar. Now the great thing about G-Sync Pulsar is that it offers you a strobing blue reduction backlight like NVIDIA's previous ULM V2, but you can use it finally at the same time as variable refresh rates. So that's what G-Sync Pulsar can do for you. This is a 27-inch IPS LCD screen, 1440p resolution, 360 hertz refresh rate. But if you use NVIDIA G-Sync Pulsar, it can quadruple your motion clarity up to the equivalent of a 1440 hertz LCD screen. So you've got amazing motion clarity potential from an LCD screen. It's designed for esports gaming, giving you all kinds of different options and extra features. We don't have a full spec for this at the moment, but it should be available very soon. We'll provide some further information on our website when we've got all the details and specs. But finally, we should start to see NVIDIA G-Sync Pulsar becoming available for everyone who's been waiting for it for all this time. We, we originally saw this back at Gamescom in 2024, I think it was. So it's finally now coming to market. This is their new 5K dual mode IPS LCD monitor. It's got a native 5K resolution which runs at 180 hertz refresh rate, but the dual mode function allows you to increase that up to 330 hertz if you drop down to a 1440p resolution. So you've got the best of both worlds potentially there between a super high pixel density and super high detail and a faster frame rate for certain gaming situations. The screen is 27 inches in size, so that 5K resolution gives you a pixel density of 218 ppi, something that Apple would classify as retina ready. So that's a really high pixel density that should give you amazing image detail, amazing picture clarity, and great text clarity as well. It is an IPS LCD screen, and it features their ELMB2, their Extreme Low Motion Blur 2 technology. So you've got a strobing blur reduction backlight as well, if you want for certain gaming situations to improve motion clarity. It's also got some mid-tier HDR capabilities with VESA Display HDR 600 support. 